spawn-like day for Man and Machine. And now our final preliminary heat, featuring the Atlas Van Lines and the Tosti Osti, the two turbines. Well, will it? Here comes the Atlas Van Lines now with Chip Hanauer and his turbine-powered boat back into the pits. Chip has 700 points, so he's probably in good shape for the final, but you got to wonder why they're coming back. Yeah, he's calling it a day as far as this heat anyway, showing a low oil sign. But we'll have to wait and see. Meanwhile, we've got to go racing. And from high above, here come the boats now. All five of them, with the exception of the Atlas Van Lines, for the start of E3B. Way out in front is the Tosti Asti, as you see on the right of your screen. Steve Reynolds and the Tosti Asti coming around the east turn. Already well established as the leader. There's the Kenny Toyota Volvo with Earl Hall aboard. But in first place, and a familiar spot for this boat today, Steve Reynolds having an outstanding afternoon in the Tosti Asti. Second place to the executive done with George Johnson. There's the U80 in third place. Coming around the west turn now is Steve Reynolds and the Tosti Asti. Now, we've got Jim Henrik down in the fifth with Chip Hanauer, who dropped out of this heat suddenly in the endless van line. Jim? We're at the final. Chip, why'd you return? Uh, I've got an oil level light. Same thing as like Evansville. Oh, then you don't want to take a chance on hurting that turbine, right? Uh, that's all we got now. So. It looks like you'll get in the final. You can give it all you got then. Uh, as long as we can fix the problem. All right, Jim, and by the way, the Atlas Van Lines really has only an engine and maybe three quarters. Their backup engine did not perform well in Detroit, so they have their one hot engine that they'll now save for the final. In the meantime, here in our final preliminary heat, it is 3B, and that man, Steve Reynolds, in the Tosti Asti is in first place. And the executone telephones with George Johnson very quietly having an outstanding day today. They are chalking up the points, doing a good job of getting into the final. They're, if they hold on to second place, they should make it all right. There's the Kenny Toyota with Earl Hall, co-rookie of the year last year along with Todd Garling. And back to Steve Reynolds. Steve rumbles along, getting a little choppy out there in the west turn, as it does most times here on the Columbia River. The U-80, that is Ron Armstrong. A couple years ago, he used to be the band's BX, as a matter of fact. Ron Armstrong doing a good job. Back to the Executone telephone. They have run in every heat so far today quite well, as a matter of fact. And back to the Tosti Osti. They soften the sponsor a little bit on this new boat, make it a little less lively as they come around. They spent about three, four weeks on it, getting it ready for the Gold Cup while they raced their backup boat back in Madison, Indiana, and in Detroit, Michigan, two weeks ago. So the Tosti Osti with their number one boat is in front, as you see. Boy, Earl's going for a ride. Earl Hall and the Kenny Toyota Volvo. And back to the Tosti Osti. Steve Reynolds. Coming in and will pick up another 400 points if he gets the win here. That will put him at 1,100 points and tie him with the Budweiser. Beautiful shot of the brand new John Stoddicker design boat out of Detroit, that being the Kenny Toyota. Back to the Tosti Asti and Mr. Reynolds. Steve Reynolds having it his way. There's the owner of the boat, Steve Woomer, down in the pits. He's happy with his boat out in front. And of course, the executive telephones with George Johnson, one of the owners of this boat, along with Bill Worcester and Jerry Oaksmith. There is the Joe Ritchie Spirit of Detroit with Todd Garling. Earl Hall, in his debut, as we said, he drove the Squire shop for Bob Style last year. Right now, they're trying to dial in this brand new boat. It uses Allison engines, and he's moving along here in Heat 3B. Back to the Tosti Osti, Steve Reynolds. A lot of work. They use radio communication, a two-way system, so Steve, while driving, can communicate with Jerry Burhill, the crew chief, back in the pits, much like the NASCAR or the Indy-type cars. A great way to communicate a wonderful tool as they try to dial their boats in. Oh, look at the Tosti! Oh, he got a lot of air underneath it, but somehow Reynolds held on. Reynolds, the winner of Heat 3 Bay, but he gave everybody a show. Here comes the executive second place and another 300 points. They're in the final. The U80 and Ron Armstrong, third place, but his day is complete. And Earl Hall, the Kenny Toyota Volvo. It'll be racing in Seattle next week. So here are the numbers for Heat 3B. The Tosti Osti and Steve Reynolds getting yet another victory. The Executone Telephone, they are in the final. Let's look at the rundown now. The Budweiser, the Tosti, the Atlas, my goodness, the Renault, Executone Telephones, and look at this. The Squire Shop gets in there with 625 points. Let's go to Jim and Mickey Riemann of the Squire Shop. Well, down a very close call for the Squire Shop with their problems. They do get in the final. Mickey, I can see you let a big breath of air out. Yeah, really, we uh, we just found out just right now we made it in the final. We were the sixth boat in. With the problems we had in the last 24 hours, it's really a nice feeling to be here, even if we are sixth one in. Lovely. Don? 
And Jim, look at the Tosti Osti as it was finishing Heat 3B. My goodness, he had a lot of air under that boat. It gives you somewhat of a reminder of how thin that line is between a controlled hydroplane and near disaster. Steve Reynolds made it back to the pits, and he'll be in the final, which is coming up. The Gold Cup 1984 in just a moment.